It is my birthday, and what better way to say happy birthday than 100 golden gifts, or 952,000 gifts. Thank you each and every single one of you that has supported me over the years, subscribed to me. Something about a birthday just makes you emotional, makes you reflect on things, and I'm very, very thankful for all of you, and who knows? By my next birthday, we might be at the big one mil. Let's make that the goal. <laughs> so if you're new around here and you like trading videos, trading videos, crate videos, funny moments of gameplay videos, tournament videos, reward openings, just Rocket League in general, then why not click subscribe down below, join the Pixel Army, and join us on the road to one million. And as it is my birthday, why not consider just dropping a like on this video don't normally you know beg for likes quite like that but you know it's my birthday it's the one day of the year that you can actually do that now i'm not a big birthday guy in the sense that i don't it's almost like i don't massively look forward to birthdays and for me it is especially as an adult it is very much just another day and for me it's about how i spend my time and who i spend it with rather than the stuff i get and i am notoriously difficult to buy for so anyone that's ever gone out of their way to buy me a present and has thought of something, you know, that I couldn't think of myself and that I've really liked and everything like that, fair play to you because I, I am quite difficult to buy for because if I, I like practical things, I like practical presents, I like something I need, but the problem is if I need something, painted exotics for one, if I need something, what are the odds that I need that thing on my birthday as opposed to every other day of the year? The odds are 1 in 365. So chances are, when I need something, I've probably gone and got it myself because it's not my birthday and I need it. So I am quite difficult to buy for. So if you could pick your favorite birthday present, I'll say a budget of $1,000, for example. Not that I expect to receive any $1,000 presents, but you know, I'm allowing for like games consoles if that way inclined, but I'm, I'm cutting it at like some mad car, house, watch, all that good, you know, all that good stuff. What would be your gift of choice? Uh, let me know down in the comments. What is the one thing you really want for your birthday? Or alternatively, what is the one thing you wanted for your birthday that you never actually got? I'm trying to think if there was anything like that for me. I don't think there was, to be honest. I don't even remember as a kid just wanting a specific thing for my birthday. Although, although, I believe it might have been... I can't remember which year my birthday it was, but I got a Nintendo DS and... And Pokemon Heart Gold with the Poke Walker. And by the way, Pokemon Heart Gold is one of my favorite games out there. It's just, it was like, I think it might have been the first Pokemon game on the DS. I'm not sure, but it was just a major upgrade in terms of graphics and everything like that. Not to the point where it messes with your head a little bit. Like with some of these new gen Pokemon games, it got to the point, at least for me, where I was like, this is almost getting away from the realm of Pokemon now. It's getting hard to digest. But... Pokemon Heart Gold looked amazing. The two regions I absolutely loved. But no one told me the Poke Walker only works. I mean, I may have got this wrong and be told in the comments that it's not the case. But apparently the Poke, or it seemed for me, the Poke Walker only worked with your first save. And you couldn't just overwrite your Poke Walker data. If you started a new game, you could never use the Poke Walker again. That's another painted exotic, and this time it's a gold score one. You'll have to see it. Thank you. Happy birthday. Um, and naturally, you get pretty bored in Pokemon after a while, and you do just restart the game. You want to come at it from a different angle. You might try and set yourself a challenge. You, you know, for example, did you ever complete the Pokedex? I actually did manage it. I remember the exact moment I was on my Game Boy Color. Probably, yeah, probably smaller than this phone, just about, I want to say. And I remember the moment I was in the Safari Zone, and I finally got, caught the Kangaskhan, or Kangaskhan, or however you say it, from the safari zone because they were a pain to catch they were so rare and that was the 150th pokemon i needed so i did it i have completed the pokedex nowadays no I, I doubt it i've never done it on any new gen game or anything like that and that time i did complete it on pokemon i think it might have been yellow that was like my 10th iteration of the game because you just do different things sometimes you get bored of the lineup you want the grind again and part of me's like you know why don't we just oh a black comet i'll tell you it's like the invisible comet that's nice. Part of me's like, low-key, why don't we just do that for Rocket League? Recently on the internet, there's been news of, you know, Counter-Strike 2. I've never been, like, a, a fan of Counter-Strike. I remember back in the day when I was sort of kind of obsessed, I guess, with FPS shooters. I went on Counter-Strike and played a few, like, gun game versions. But I've never, like, done online or got into that or anything like that. That's a pretty cool wheel. And now everyone's hyped because they're making a, a Counter-Strike 2. And essentially, the, I mean, the way people talk about Unreal Engine 5 is that it will be essentially Rocket League 2. But as was the case a year ago, as was the case two years ago, as was the case when free-to-play started, no one actually knows 
when this damn game is coming out. Because I'm pretty sure, although the title won't change, I it, it's essentially Rocket League 2, isn't it? Unreal Engine 5. Or at least that's what we're led to believe. Because I'm out here thinking, you can't really change the ranked experience much. I think what Rocket League 2 needs to do, it needs to... It's like it almost needs to come up with different things, but that's not Rocket League. Like, ranked Rocket League kind of has to stay the same. I think it just... I guess it just allows you to do certain things. I think that is a boost. Let's see which one. I was going to say Synthwave. Did you believe me? Would you believe me if I told you that? I think you would, actually, because I've done that many times. But I just wanted to come out so bad. I, I love Rocket League, but I was having a conversation the other day, and I'm thinking, you know, where do we go? Season 10, we always knew we were going to get there because it's, it's the big it's the big double ditch. Season 10, that's what you want. And assuming we assume that we're going to go to Season 11. We're not going to start again or anything like that to, like, Chapter 3. But it's like, how far does Rocket League go? Because I don't see a world in which the game dies and they just leave it in the same season and never update it, right? I doubt that's going to happen. At, at least not for, you know, decades, right? You know, when they get to a point where, like, maybe Rocket League is just outdated on the whatever hardware we have at the time. And then the game might just, I don't know, be forgotten, right? But that's not going to be for a long time, you know? So let's say it's not for another five years. In those five years, if we keep having seasons every three months... We'll be in the 20s of seasons, and it's like, do we really just keep going season 20, 21, 22, 23? What do we do? That's what I want to know, and I want to know where the black markets are at, because we've had plenty of exotics. We're going to get a black market in a video as a result of that, but I want a black market in a crate. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm interested with the future of Rocket League. I just want to know when stuff is going to happen. Maybe it'll tie in with... The RLCS schedule, because we've got RLCS, I mean, at the time of recording, the RLCS Winter Major is coming up in San Diego. And unlike last year, the one in Los Angeles where I did attend, I will not be attending this year. It just didn't fall at the right time. It's a super busy time for me at the moment, and I am actually going away somewhere else. So I've got to prepare for that, and it just basically didn't fit in. And I want to try and make daily videos for you guys, so that's why the next couple of weeks are going to be super busy for me because I basically need to take a week, a week off YouTube, but I don't want to miss a day of uploading. So bear with me. I'm going to do my best to keep posting content for you all because nothing makes me happier than seeing the comments of people saying that they love watching the videos every day, that they feel like the videos are a part of their daily routine, no matter what video it is. Back to back edge burst. You love to see it. Whether it's a crate opening, I've done much less crate openings these days. We might get a new crate soon, to be fair. It's been a while. Golden Moon 23 was our last one, I believe. Uh, whether it's crates trade-ups been loving the trade-ups lately pick a clip also sick blind trading a lot of people say they watch every single video and there are there's a few you know maybe 20 30 000 that do watch every video and that just means the world and I, I love seeing you here i love seeing you here so uh thank you so much for watching and what i'm gonna do now as you, i'm sure you know by this by this point we're halfway through so i'm gonna open the crates and show you the best items only that's painted exotics and black markets so the next crate you're gonna see it's going to be sick. Oh, Titanium White Ninja Star, though. That, that's pretty sick. Oh, the Crimfiniums. We've already had non-painted Zombers, which you didn't see. It's not painted. I got baited by that. But the Crimson Infiniums. We've had a lot of exotics. We're getting multiple black markets this video. Whether they're in crates or not, it's going to happen. Oh, another painted exotic. The Purple Creepers. They just keep coming. We've had, like, one every ten crates. Maybe that's why we're not getting black markers. Just an exotic kind of day. And then we can trade up. I suppose it's more exciting, right? I don't know. Oh, and there's a tournament for me to join us. I'm done. That is sick. We love Rocket League. See, tournaments save Rocket League for me. I love tournaments. I'll tell you what. There's been a few, even titanium white imports. There was the white finnies I didn't show. But the white nimbus. That's a wimbus, if ever I've seen it. <laughs> or a twimbus. Happy birthday to my twin brother as well, of course. If you know, you know. He's been on my channel a, a while ago. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! The Fire God! What an opening! What a day! I've got a strep slim because, you know, sore throat, recording, everything like that. It happens. It's just part... Of, it's an occupational hazard. But we got a Fire God! That means we've had, like, eight or nine exotics. One of the best black markets in the crate. Certainly one of the best non-painted ones you can get. And there's 11 more to go. I'll probably now see you from the import to exotic traders. Because remember, we could get white zombies if we're lucky. I mean, I wouldn't mind a birthday pair of white zombies. And then we'll do exotic to black market trade ups. And I, I would call this a dub regardless. Because we're going to get black markets. We've got exotics. It's been sick. That's not a bad trade up to start with. 
Titanium White Reapers. I will take that gladly. This is this is turning into quite a good opening, I have to say. All right, here we go. Here is our chance to get some sick exotics before the black market finale. So number one is a raging wheel. Okay, that's not ideal, but we can trade up all these for number two. It's a painted Neoyo. It's always a painted Neoyo. Okay, now we're going to trade up these bad boys. I think we can squeeze two more out of this. Yes! Yes! Titanium White Dracos! It's, it's not a Zomba, but it is a close second. That is an absolute mammoth dub. And now we're going to carry on. I'll even trade it the Black Comet. Why not? We'll go with you and you. We'll keep the Finnies and go with the Ninja Star, actually. Actually, no. We'll keep the Black Comet and go with the Ninja Star. Yeah, we'll do that. Final one! Uh, ooh, Infinium's Crimson again. And now, as you can see, there's plenty of black markets. Let's just show Archive real quick if there are any. There's two here. Okay, this is good. So, one, two, three, four, mm, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we can do... Oh, yeah, we can do two trade-ups. We're going to keep a bunch of stuff. So, we'll just get rid of the Archive ones just for now. So, we can do two trade-ups. We'll go with you, you, you you and then you so this is the first trade up golden gift 22 can we get something sick fire god again two fire gods in one video one more attempt now we're gonna trade up a duplicate of you you can go you can go and i guess we'll trade up the Ooh, the score of saffron was keep the purple creepers and there we go come on Yes, we got a painted black market. So that means in this video, we have got Titanium White Dracos, the Crimson Infiniums, two Fire Gods, the Lime Solar Flare, and Titanium White Reapers. You know what that is. A massive dub. There, there we go. So if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. Thank you to everyone that has already wished me a happy birthday. I really do appreciate it. That is going to do it from me. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Flying in a missile, haters throwing shade, never pick me, not an issue. I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it happens.